Hey artists, today I'm gonna to show you how to draw a dinosaur in a city. Like in the book, If the Dinosaurs Came Back by Bernard Most. You can use two sheets of white paper and something to color with, or you can use a white paper and a piece of construction paper. Whatever you have works awesome. I hope you have fun doing this project. Happy creating. To draw your dinosaur today, you'll be following my directed line drawing. Turn your paper horizontally in front of you. Start in the top corner with a nice letter C. When you have your letter C, go to the bottom portion of your C and make a line straight down almost to the bottom of your paper. Go back to your letter C and to the top of it and make your line come out and then about halfway down that original line. This is the neck of our dinosaur. From this step, you wanna meet back up at your neck, make a nice rounded back and go all the way almost to the very corner for your dinosaur's tail. The next step are the dinosaur's legs and belly. So we're gonna make a leg, two legs, a belly, three legs, four legs, and our tail. Now's the fun part. You need to give your dinosaur a face You need to give your dinosaur a mouth and a nose, and then maybe some toenails. Now, decide if you want to have any spikes or fins or anything on your dinosaur. You might also decide that you want your dinosaur to have polka dots or maybe stripes. When you have your dinosaur drawn the way that you like it, go ahead and use anything you want to color it. When you have your dinosaur all the way colored, it's time to cut it out. I like to use a shadow cut, just co cutting very, very close to my black lines, but not exactly on them. Our next step today is to draw our black and white city, like in the story by Bernard Most. When you draw a city, you wanna make sure that your paper is the wide way. I like to start my city with a straight line at the bottom. And so I'm just using another sheet of paper to help me do this, cause I really don't need a ruler. Just, I kinda like to make a street. And so now I have a place to put my street or cars or a sidewalk. The next thing is to draw some buildings. The first buildings you want to draw are the buildings in the foreground. The word foreground means front.
When you have three or four buildings in the foreground of your picture, you might add a roof to them or one of them. The next thing is to draw buildings in the middle ground. After you draw those buildings, you might draw a roof on some of these buildings. This building is designed to look like it's going behind that one. The next thing is buildings in the background. I made that line very crooked, so I'm gonna do something funny to this building. When you have all of your buildings drawn, you need to start adding your details like doors and windows and other things that go in a city. When you get your city the way that you like it, you can go ahead and glue your dinosaur on. <laughs> 